Hey everyone, it's Tony with Hidden Light Photography. And over the next several nights, we're gonna be imaging M81 Bode's Galaxy. And in this project, I'm gonna be going for the most integration time I've ever gone for, between 51 and 52 hours. So if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. I have a whole series of videos showing you how to do astrophotography yourself. Now let's head on over and image Bode's Galaxy. Located in the constellation Ursa Major, Bode's galaxy is situated roughly 12 million light years away. But even at that staggering distance, it's still within our photographic reach. Bode's galaxy is a grand design spiral galaxy with an active galactic nucleus and a powerful display of color and detail. With its larger size and brightness, this is a popular target for the amateur astrophotographer and a must add to your astrophotography list if you haven't done so already. For my M81 project, I'll be using my Skywatcher 200p telescope strapped to my Skywatcher EQ6R Pro mount. The Skywatcher 200p's 200 millimeters of aperture and 800 millimeters of focal length make this a very fast f4 telescope perfect for deep sky photography. The ASI 533MC camera pairs very nicely with this telescope and gives a perfect field of view for M81 without the use of focal reducers or focal extenders. And to combat the light pollution from the city of Phoenix in my northern sky, I'll be using the Antlia tri-band filter. Now, in an effort to kind of catch up on some lost imaging from the cloud coverage the last few months, I'm going to start off by slewing west and try to pick up some lost time on NGC 2264. At about 930, we're going to slew north and catch up with M81. It'll be nice and high up in the sky. The only problem is, is my northern sky is filled with light pollution from the city of Phoenix. So I'm going to be utilizing the Antlia tri-band filter. Now, we're going to be doing roughly 105 to 115 three minute sub exposures. And we're gonna be doing this for the course of about eight or 10 nights to total 1,020 to 1,040 subframes on M81, equaling out to hopefully right around 51 to 52 hours of integration time. It's starting to get dark, let's get started. So now we've slewed from the western sky pointed at NGC 2264 and now we're pointed at the northern sky and currently lining up with M81. And as you can see, M81 looks a little bit washed out and that's because of the light pollution in the northern sky from the city of Phoenix. And that's where the Antlia tri-band filter comes in. So now we're going to be following M81 across the northern sky for the rest of the night and we're going to repeat this for the next eight to ten nights so we can get our 51 to 52 hours of integration time.
So after imaging on night one, I went ahead and blinked through the data we got and realized we ran into a little bit of a snag here. Around 2.30 a.m., we're getting pretty deep into the light pollution. Surprisingly though, the Antlia tri-band is still allowing some of M81 to show through, but I'm not sure how usable the data will be. I'll keep an eye on it and get rid of any unusable frames. After multiple nights of clouds and high winds causing imaging to come to a halt, I finally got the last light of M81 for the season. In the end, I was able to collect 52.4 hours of usable data. Even though the light pollution had a worse effect than I anticipated, this had been a fun target to image. And now, it's time to move on to the next project. And of course, here's the final image. As an added bonus, here's NGC 2264, which I imaged at the same time as M81. Although the light pollution caused M81 to suffer a bit in quality, NGC 2264 came out amazing, considering it was only 15 hours of integration and imaged low on the horizon. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, do me a favor. That channel icon that just popped up, hit that channel icon and subscribe. There's more content heading your way. Drop a comment in the comment section. Did you enjoy this video or have any questions? Then check out that next video. Until the next time, clear skies.